hike or a trail called the Red Hill Trail and that is apparently about 13 k's there and back. We are really prepared to just get out and enjoy some nature today. I'm really excited to take Suki for a nice big walk too. She is actually struggling at the moment. Look at her. She's like, it's like she doesn't even want to be out of bed right now. I'm really excited for this walk. It does look really beautiful. We are hoping to get the drone up again and get some really good shots. Are you getting excited, Dan? I'm always excited for a good walk. I know, and a good coffee because it's early <laughs> and we definitely need coffee. Probably gonna get one at the beginning of the trail and then maybe one at the end of the trail as well. So we'll just see what happens there. I'm really excited for this walk. So we've just parked at the general store at Merrick's and it's this amazing old building with this like grapevine. It just looks so cool. Check out this grapevine. Got our morning coffee, now we're ready for the trail. What if the world had more of your smile? What if the wind could spread your love? What if your sweetness could reach everyone? There'd be no wars. will sing about your heart maybe the trees will whisper the word maybe the sun will spread your joy to the ones who lost their hope possibilities of getting a holiday home down here. <laughs> it's really that beautiful. That would be really nice. I'm not gonna lie, I really want one here. What about you? <laughs> Maybe we should just sell our current house and just move down here permanently. As much as I would love to do that, it was so painful, like so painful getting that first home for us. I don't think I'm ready to go through that kind of like pain again for a little while. We just have to uh, save up to buy an apartment or a house or something down here mm. so we can come down whenever we want. Well, that would be nice because there's plenty of trails that we haven't done and that we would like to do down here and this is just a really good eye opener for what else is down here. You never know, maybe in the next few years we'll just become rich and we'll be able to get a holiday home, that'd be nice. So Dan and I started from the Merrick's end of this particular trail. So the Merrick's end is good to start at because the incline happens first. So if you prefer to do incline at the beginning of a walk and then have more of a descent on your way back, that's kind of where we're at today. So we decided to do that because it would probably be easier and especially with Suki. Apparently both ends are good to start at though because apparently there are good coffee shops and cafes at both ends. So whichever way you start is probably a good bet actually with this trail. About to leave, already packing. Come with me, I'm not really asking. We'll get away to a place where we don't know. About to see the world in action. What we can be like with no distractions. We'll get away. This is what we waited for.
cliche we're on the run this is what we waited for oh, yeah. take my hand we'll make it somehow we can't miss out i'm done living life with the lights out Second one for today? Second. <laughs> Probably have a third one later. Oh god. He's like, what is that thing? Oh, look at the horses. <laughs> so we've just been putting the drone up and Suki was crying and I had no idea why, but there's a whippet. I don't know if you can see just through the fence there. There's another whippet just like at the fence of this farm. And Suki was like looking at it the whole time. I, I just looked up and saw it there and I'm like, oh my gosh. So we are finally nearly at the end of the trail. It has taken us a few hours to get there and back to Merrick's. Having said that, we've been stopping quite a lot to take photos, video, drone shots. So it's been a little bit longer probably than most people to actually finish it. But we're nearly at the end and we're going to hopefully get onto Hastings next and maybe check out that area a little bit more. So we finished the walk, we're now back in the car. And as you can see, Suki is absolutely exhausted. Yeah. Yes, I think she's had a great walk. We've had a great walk. It's a really beautiful walk. We definitely recommend it for those with dogs. However, something to be mindful of is there's a lot of people that walk their dogs, unfortunately, off leash when it's meant to be on leash. So that's just something you have to be aware of. Other than that, it was really great. And we had a coffee here before we, uh, before we walked and at the coffee shop at the end and they were both really good, so I'd highly recommend it. The walk is beautiful, the buildings and the cafes are beautiful. It's just like perfect countryside views and we got the drone up at one point and you could just see like the water as well from the farmland. Yeah. It was just really beautiful. Lots of vineyards as well. Now we're gonna head over to Hastings, which is about a 15 minute drive and uh, we've never been to this part of Victoria, so we're very excited to see something new. just come down to Hastings at the foreshore and we're just looking at the water and it's just a really peaceful beautiful quiet spot we'll probably just hang out here for a little while before we head back to our Airbnb and probably have a, a fairly chill afternoon Suki is so dead after that walk we went on this morning that I don't think that she really wants to be out much longer she's very slow as opposed to this morning when she was pulling at the lead to go faster it's actually quite cold now. It's like typical Victorian Melbourne weather where you have to put a jumper on. We've both got our jumpers on now and the weather seems to have changed quite dramatically. It was very sunny earlier and now it's quite windy and overcast. So we will probably stay here for a little while before we head back to the Airbnb. So we will talk to you guys later. Shine up to the light.